Typhoon Rai packed winds of more than 200 kilometers an hour and made landfall nine times last week. The number of people who've died after a super typhoon hit last week has risen to more than 375. The Red Cross says it's carnage in many areas with no power, no communications and very little water. Typhoon Rai also hit about a third of the country that has historically been spared the fiercest storms. Now is the time that we need a government, a government that is ready to help us in our current situation. We are waiting for whoever has a kind heart. I hope they will help us. Significant typhoons strike southern Asian nations every year, most notably the Philippines. As the deadliest storm to hit the nation since Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, Rai hit in late December 2021 and left more than 400 people dead. This occurred in a season that, despite having numerous powerful storms, was the second consecutive year after 2020 that typhoon activity was below average. The Philippines, along with other countries, carry forward as the new year approaches, despite the possibility of yet another deadly season. The death toll due to the Philippines' landslides and floods is now nearing 150. The country was hit by a tropical storm, Meggy, on Sunday, causing widespread damage, landslides and flooding. This part, this our part of our relatives' area, so we, we are trying to still retrieve their lives, their bodies, if they have. Um, more than 30 relatives we have. I hope we, we can find their bodies so we can bury them. Scientists have long warned that typhoons are strengthening more rapidly as the world becomes warmer as a result of the impact of climate change.
A typhoon currently southwest of Okinawa has strengthened to a super strong typhoon and is now moving westward toward the Korean Peninsula. South Korea is bracing for impact as super typhoon Hinano intensifies. As the storm edges closer to the southern island of Jeju, residents are already feeling the effects. Hinamno already ripped through southern Japan over the weekend, knocking down trees and power lines in parts of Okinawa Prefecture. Powerful gales and torrential rains battered eastern China on Wednesday evening as Typhoon Muifa made landfall in the port city of Zhoshan. Local media are calling it the strongest tropical cyclone to hit the region in a decade. On to Japan now, where 9 million have been forced to leave their homes. Super Typhoon Nanmadol made a landfall yesterday. It hammered Kyushu. And this is one of the four main islands of Japan. Do not go near dangerous areas. If you feel that you are in danger, do not hesitate to evacuate. Please take early action to save your lives. Evacuating at night is extremely dangerous. Please evacuate to safe areas like high places and sturdy buildings during the day. Nauru brought gusts of up to 240 kilometers per hour and destruction to the Philippines. Here they are with many of their possessions um, all sitting waiting and hoping that at some point these floods will recede. This was the most powerful since January but assessing the damage from high above the president believes it could have been much worse. Nauru has been downgraded to a tropical storm as it made a landfall in Vietnam earlier today. The storm barreled into coastal city of Da Nang in central Vietnam. More than 800,000 people were evacuated, with those living along the coast ordered to take refuge in safe places. Almost half of Vietnam's airports are shut. So are schools and offices in several central provinces. Another storm has ravaged the Philippines. By Sunday morning, nearly the entire archipelago was submerged in flood water. Tropical storm Nalge, known locally as Paeng, has torn through the islands and is the second deadliest cyclone to hit there this year. A lot of the country is flooded. A lot of the provinces are about at least 45 provinces have been affected, 11 most severely. I want to give you a sense of how high flood waters rose here right now. It's ankle deep, but look at this dark pink streak over the light pink paint of the gate. 
This was how high the flood waters were. whether it's Japan, South Korea, or for that matter, Pakistan, they are all bearing the brunt of climate change, of extreme weather events. So many freak weather events that too in quick succession cannot be a coincidence. Global warming and climate change are rearing their ugly heads.